I am tired, but I'm good though. I'm tired. Um, I did not think, well, okay. I knew that Vlogmas was going to be a challenge. And I knew that at some point I was going to be like, I'm so tired of uploading and filming. Um, but you know how you know something, but you're still not prepared. And that's how I feel. I was not prepared for this. However, I am really enjoying the challenge because it is pushing me to do things I've never done before, like consistently upload, you know, every day. So it's been fun and I really am glad that you all are enjoying it because I really am enjoying it. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Today, I am going to be washing my hair. I have not washed my, oh, let me turn it, here we go. I have not washed my hair since I got my hair done. So, ah, two weeks today. So I need to wash it. And so um, you'll, well, you won't see me washing my hair, but you'll see me styling my hair. Um, I'll do my skincare. Uh, what's on the agenda for today? Not much, just filming, doing some work, and maybe do a declutter. But I just feel kind of like mm, today, you know, Aunt Flo, she's making her rounds, so I feel her knocking at my door, like, I'm here. I'm here. So that's kind of where the, is the lethargy? Lethargy is coming from. But I am good, I am good. Just, just feeling it. So let me go ahead and get my hair done. I kind of want to work out, but I don't have the energy to work out yet. So I'm gonna do my hair first. I know I probably should work out and then do my hair, but I can't, not right now. So I'm gonna do my hair, cause that's what I can do. And then, uh. That's about it. So I'll see you with some wet hair. Alrighty, so hair is washed. Um, it's been air drying now for about, well, I would say a good 30 or so minutes. So it's still a little damp, but it's definitely drying out. So I've straightened up my desk area. Let me show you all. So straightened up my desk area, even though it kind of doesn't look like I straightened it up, but I did. And I wanted to share with y'all a couple of things. So first, have you all heard of, um, the Instagram page called Target While Black. So I just discovered the page. Let me turn y'all back around. I just discovered the page and I am so here for her. Um, definitely go and follow her. Uh, I'll link her down below. So she shows everything that's black owned, people of color owned at Target. So I went on a rampage because I was like, I need to support my own. So first, I got this syrup. So this is Gourmet Butter Pecan Syrup. And it just came in the mail last night, so I haven't tried it, but I will definitely try it and give you my thoughts on it. It just looks like it's gonna be good, doesn't it? Oh, can't wait to try that. And then um, I bought three candles. One is gonna come in the mail, but this is this one candle here. And I love just how like diverse this one is. Did I say candle? This is an ornament. What am I talking about? So, got this ornament. The other one's coming in the mail. Look how cute this ornament is. It's adorable. Oh, reminds me of my little girls. And um, and then I have this outfit. Beautiful beauty in every shade. Look at this. I'm loving it. So, top. This is like sweatshirt material. And the top was 19 and the pants were 19. So definitely not a bad bargain at all. So this is what the pants look like in the back. Just like normal sweatpant material. Um, sorry that my mirror is dirty. And so I have a large in the pants and then a medium in the top. And then the top, it has just like a regular like sweatshirt look to it. And I just tucked it under so it wasn't hanging too low. But the pants were really comfortable. I would say the pants fit true to size. So I usually will go for a large in like any type of like lounge pants and I feel like I have room to breathe and stretch um, and they're not too tight or anything like that. And then the sweatshirt as well, I would say if you wanted, you know, a looser fit, go up a size. Um, but I am so here for this. Oh, such a comfy, cute loungewear outfits. So I'll link this down below too. And then I also got wrapping paper. So this was, um, I was able to pick this one up in store. Look at that black Santa wrapping paper. I am so excited. So I picked up, I want to say three more rolls of um, black Santa or black inspired Christmas paper. So excited. Um, so can't wait to use that. So now let's go back into the makeup room. Okay, so we're back in here. I'm going to show you all a couple more things. 
why not? Just a chilled, you know, vlog video. So I got um, the new Christian Audette X Lisa Lisa D collaboration. So excited about this. So in the collaboration, we have an eyeshadow stick, a candle, lipstick and lip liner. I've already worn the lipstick and lip liner twice. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. It's a, such a beautiful combination, love it. But I'm burning the candle today on this candle. It's really, really nice. So here's the candle. First of all, I love the uh, packaging of the candle. Oh, I didn't realize this had like a little film over it. There you go. So this is what the candle looks like and this is really, really nice. It smells good. It makes it kind of feel like I'm in a spa. So I have that. And then Mix Bar reached out to me a while ago and um, they sent me a new fragrance. I don't think it's new to like Scent Bar, but it's new to me. So this is their Cloud Musk fragrance. And here is the Parfum. This is a hair and body spray. Um, here's a roller ball of it. And then this is their scent discovery set. So if you watched my fragrance video that I uploaded recently, I love the Mix Bar Coconut Palm scent. This is so good. It lasts very, very long. And if you didn't know, and if I didn't tell you, you would not know that it came from Target um, and that it was more of an affordable fragrance. So I've been actually spraying this on myself at night um, when I get out the shower and it smells so good. Very light and airy. Um, so yes, excited to have these and I'm so appreciative that they sent me this. So I already put the body spray on. The body spray is very light. Like you can smell the fragrance, but it's not one that like smells heavy or even like um, has a like an over overpowering scent to it. So I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna spray the actual parfum because um, I want a little bit more of a scent. So let me get that out the packaging and then we'll come. Okay, so I turned my ring light on just a little bit because I felt like it was a bit dim. Let me put some lotion on because my hands are ashy. So I'm using the Gold Bond Hand Healing or the Healing Hand Cream. This is really great. I really like this one. Um, it's nice and thick. Oh shoot, dang it. Let me not, I haven't done my skincare yet and I do not like to put anything on my face that is not face appropriate. So took that off, didn't even blend it in. So y'all just gonna have to see my ashy hands till I finish my skincare. So I wanted to try some new Shantakai products that I've gotten from my advent calendars. So this was in the Shantakai one. This is their lip potion. And I've never tried this product and my lips are direly chapped. I don't even know if that's a word. So this is what the product looks like. Ooh, very, uh, very soft and pillowy. I thought it was gonna have more of like a firmer texture. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This has a thinner consistency, so it doesn't feel like um, doesn't have the texture of like Vaseline, okay? But definitely, it's not thin at all. Huh, I'm gonna look at myself. Okay, that was nice, hmm. It's thin, but it's not too thin. Interesting. I'll keep this on my, um, I'll keep this on my vanity. Okay, doesn't really taste like much. Okay, let's start with the, oh, let me tell you what I used on my hair. So I used the, they're upstairs, so I'll just insert pictures. I used the um, L'Occitane Almond Shampoo and Conditioner for the first time. Those are supposed to um, add shine to your hair and help your hair feel nice and soft. And I would say that my hair feels soft and it was nice to use. You know, first impression, it was nice. Nothing like groundbreaking, but definitely not anything that would make me go like I'm never using it again. I felt like my hair is nice and clean. Smells clean, which is good. Now, before I use the L'Occitane conditioner, I did go in with the Olaplex. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I bought this during the Sephora Spring Sale and I love, love, love this. This is a highly concentrated four-in-one reparative mask that adds shine and body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair. So all of the um, 
dye that I had in my hair from like years ago, it's all been cut off. So I don't have any like uh, chemicals in my hair in terms of like a perm or like dye in my hair, but I still like to use like intensive treatments on my hair just because I feel like, you know, your hair can always use a little boost, a little something extra. And I really have been enjoying that. So I feel like I'm almost about to run out of this. Definitely gonna repurchase it when I run out. And that's all I've done so far. Oh, I have washed my face. And then I wash, I always wash my face with this moisturizer. Well, this is my favorite one. I use a couple of other, I say moisturizer, cleanser. Good God, I cannot get my words together today. Um, I use a couple other facial washes, but this is my go-to. So this is the Shantakai Rice and Geranium one. So now on to skincare. So I'm going in today with Shantakai Purifying and Exfoliating Phytoactive Solution. So I would say that Shantakai and La Mer are my favorite skincare brands by far. Um, and I say that because no matter what I've tried from them, I'm just putting the solution on a cotton pad. My skin always enjoys it. My skin never reacts to any of their products that I've tried negatively. And when I do try new skincare, um, or if I'm just, you know, not eating right, whatever, you know, doing things that could irritate my skin, I will always will go back to these products to help clear up my skin. Um, so for the past few weeks, I have had terrible breakouts down here. And I told you all it was from new skincare that I was using, which I figured out which one it was, so I stopped using it. And so um, I've been using just Shantakai and La Mer, and I feel like my skin is starting to heal and go back to where it was before. So very happy about that. Um, so after that, oh, I love this La Mer. This is the Hydrating Infused Emulsion. This is a extra hydration product. So very thin in consistency, and I love to use it morning and evening. And it just helps to make my skin feel more moisturized. So I love it. And it's most definitely gonna be a repurchase. We go in with the Shantakai Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I use a couple pumps of this. And I'll use this product like either every day or every other day, it just depends. I have no rhyme or reason as to why I will or will not use it. Um, it, just, it just depends on how I'm feeling. And then I'm going to go in with a new product to me. So I got in the Shantakai um, Advent Calendar a larger deluxe sample of their BioLifting Cream Plus. And then in the Neiman Marcus Advent Calendar, I got this little mini size of it. It's so cute. So um, I love the BioLifting mask. That was the first thing I tried from Shantakai in that BioLifting line. And then in both the Shantakai and I want to say the Neiman Marcus Advent Calendars. Of course, I've gotten more Shantakai products from this BioLifting collection. And I am here for every one that I've tried. Um, so I'm going to go in with the BioLifting Cream as the moisturizer today. So going in with about this much and dying it on the face. And doesn't have a scent or anything, of course, because Shantakai does not add any fragrance to their skincare. And this is a nice, this is a nice like soft cream. It's not too thin. It's not thick to me. I think if you had oily skin, you might feel like this is slightly thicker than probably what you like. Um, especially if you like gel moisturizers, this definitely has Definitely has more of a thickness to it, but I prefer moisturizers like this for the day and night Because um, I don't like I'm not really into gel moisturizers simply because they can be too thin and too drying for my skin So this felt great Like I knew it would because the mask is amazing. So It just would make sense that the moisturizer would feel good too. So really liking that and then lastly oh wait, let me oh 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 I got this from, I think this was from the Shantakai Advent Calendar. This is the Stress Repair Concentrate. It's an eye cream. I have been enjoying this. So I would say I've been using this now for about a week. And um, I like it so far. 
And lastly, for SPF, I'm going in with the Suku, the Multi Skin Protector SPF 50. I was looking for this to link in my last video, and I believe that this has been discontinued. So if you've been looking for it, I'm sorry um, if you can't find it. And I'm sorry because I like it. I should have put my hair up. Um, because it's not too thin or thick. It initially kind of goes on with a little bit of a cast, but once it blends into the skin, there is no white cast, nor does it make my makeup look crazy. So now that that's done, let's open up the fragrance and spray it. I wish you all could spray. I wish you all could smell fragrances through the camera. Here we go. That would be so cool. Be like, smell it. And then you could just be like, Oh, that does smell good. This is so, ooh. Oh, the fragrance smells even better than the hair and body mist. Oh. This smells different. These are not the same. Oh, no wonder it smells different. Okay, so this hair and body spray is the Cloud Musk scent. The fragrance I assumed was the same because they both have this like same blush uh, color to it. This is glass rose. Ooh. Oh, honey. Honey chow. You need to go and smell this. You need. Oh, this smells so good. Let me just add a little more. Let me just. Excuse me while I add a little more. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. And these are like $18.99 at Target. So I am going to blow dry, straighten my hair and then add some curls to it. I'm not sure if I wanna use my wave tool or if I just wanna put like light curls in it. Not sure. Um, this is the first time I'm really styling it from it being washed. So I'm interested to see what that'll look like. So gonna clip it up. This is a clip that I got from the dry bar. I, it was when I purchased a product from the dry bar and I threw, up the clip, threw in the clips for free. So I like to go in with a heat protectant before I go in and blow dry my hair. And I love this liquid glass uh, spray. This is by Dry Bar. And this is the Miracle Smoothing Sealant. So what's cool about this is that you can use it once every three shampoos and it will help to, um, it wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide frizz resistance. It leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing hair down, and it lasts for three washes. And so it's heat activated, so you're supposed to spray it on your hair prior to blow drying it, straighten it, or what have you. I'm gonna use my Revlon. Revlon, y'all don't know what this is called. <laughs> It'll be linked down below. But basically, this is a hair dryer and kind of straightener sort of kind of straightener all in one and i love it so um let me separate my hair it'll be interesting to see how this uh, revlon tool works because my hair is shorter um let me get my mirror and put this here so i can see myself so i usually spray just like a couple couple of sprays of this it smells good too yeah, it smells good too. Okay, and then turn this on high. I will mute the sound because, well, I'll put this on and so you can hear how loud it is and then I'll mute it so it's not so irritating. I turn mine on high. It has cool, low and high settings. I turn mine on high. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> so when I used, when I had longer hair, it would probably take me like, I would say it probably would take me about maybe a little less than two minutes to like get this part straight. That was what, not even like 30 seconds. So I've been loving my short hair. I don't know if I'll ever go back. I don't know.
Okay. And I also know too, it's um, getting my hair blow dried faster or dry faster because my hair has air dried for a while now. If I had sat down and done this like right when my right when I got out the shower and my hair was still much more damp, um, it would take a little longer. So like I said, like about you know a couple minutes or so. But even with my long hair, I was able to dry and for the most part straighten my hair um in about 20 minutes and then after that like if i wanted my roots straight i would go in with the flat iron and straighten my roots or i would just go in with my curling iron and add curls and be out the door so much faster than going in with like a, tradi a traditional hair dryer But I am very excited about my Dyson. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing me use the Dyson Air Wrap system. Um, it's supposed to come in two days, so I cannot wait to use it. Okay, hair is dried and very, very straight for the most part. I love this, love this Revlon tool. I think it is such a game changer, at least for me, um, with getting my hair dried and for the most part straight. Um, I'll probably, let's see, I'm gonna go in, do I wanna go in with my flat iron? Hmm. I might, I don't know, maybe I won't. You know, I think I'll just leave it. I think I'm gonna just put curls in my hair. Um, or you know what, maybe I'll go, let me curl my hair first and then see if I wanna go in with the flat iron for my roots. Like I love for my roots to be bone straight. I don't want them to be frizzy at all. But let me see what it looks like after we curl it. This is the Con Air Curling Wand. So I'm going to use that. And we'll just add in some like light loose curls. I was thinking about using my wave tool. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the Bedhead Wave Artist. And I really do like this wave tool. It so reminds me of the 90s where we're like, you know, everybody's crimping their hair. And I remember thinking like, oh, I would never do that again. And here I am doing it again. So um, I got this from Walmart, but I've seen it like anywhere where hair tools are sold, Ulta, Target, you know, wherever. But I really do like this one. I've used it on my hair, my girl's hair, works great. Um, heats up to a nice temperature. And I feel like the waves actually last in my hair for like a nice day or two. So a really good iron, um, a good curling tool or wave tool, I should say. So I think I'm gonna forgo that today. Who knows, we'll see what it looks like when I'm done, you know, curling my hair because I might actually use it too. But I'm just glad that y'all are here on this little journey with me. How have you all been enjoying Chelsmas? A lot of you all have left feedback and I appreciate it. Um, will I do this again next year? I don't know, I, I really don't know if I'll do this again next year. What I mean by this is, I don't know if I'll do 31 days next year. Like how I'm trying to pursue for this year. I think next year I will do it for sure, but maybe like 12 days, maybe. Um, or if I feel like I can pre-film like I wanted to have done this year, then maybe I could do like 25 days. So we'll see, we, 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 we will see. I have been enjoying the journey. I will say that I love um, that you all are loving it. And so I'm glad that I've done it. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, why am I even curling this back part? I probably should get an actual um, hair curler, like traditional one. I don't even know if I have one, to be honest. So you know what? I might need to crimp this back part because I, I need something to grab onto it. And while that's heating up, I'll chat with you all. 
Um, so yeah, I think next year, I definitely can see myself doing 12 days next year, maybe 25 days. Pretty confident I won't do 31 days next year. Only way I would do 31 days is if I really get a head start on pre-filming because I got a little bit of a head start this year, but after the first week, I ran out of pre-filmed content, so I am just filming every day, and that is exhausting. On top of having to work and all of that other stuff. So, I mean, we're, we are getting it done, and we're getting it done, but I'm like, yeah, I definitely see how, like, you most certainly need to plan for this so that you're just not running yourself ragged and dry um you know because that, that can easily be done and this is just normally a time of the year where you are just kind of all over the place and trying to wrap things up trying to get ready for the holidays and all of the above so having all of, i'm having a lot of fun definitely glad that i'm doing it I just don't know if i'm gonna do it again how about that Okay, so wave tool is nice and hot. And this does get hot. <laughs> it gets pretty hot. Um, so I only leave it on for like a few seconds. And then take it off. And there we go. Like new, nice little simple, I hope y'all can see it. Nice little wave right there. Nothing too crazy, but just enough to give the hair <clears throat> a little shape. This one, hopefully you can see, has more of a wave. So have you finished your Christmas shopping? Because I have not. I finished the Christmas shopping for the most part for the girls. So they're good to go. Ooh, tapped my ear. <laughs> um, I still need to find Sean's kiss. I don't know what to get him. Um, I, I always get him something from Ralph Lauren. Uh, because he loves no I want to use I want to use my curling wand but it's, outside of that I'm like what does he want because typically Sean just buys what he wants and he's not like me he's not like oh babe I've been looking at this you know or I've been looking at that and then even if I ask him like send me over something that you would like or what you're looking at he's like uh, I don't really have anything <laughs> So he's so hard to shop for because I don't know, like, it's not like I know, like, oh man, he's been looking at this and he really wants this. So um, I've got to, I got to do some digging and get a little creative to see um, what he wants. Last year I bought him a, what do you, I forgot what you call them, but it's almost like a travel, like a little travel, um, like a little travel toiletry bag but i got him one that was embroidered and he loved it like used it all the time and i also got him a um a really nice like flask with four glasses that have his initial on it let me go and show y'all real quick while this is heating up i got him this last year for christmas so it has his initial on it and then it says let me bring it up a little closer so you can see. So this is what each one of the glasses look like. And then I think on it, it says established in 1981. Um, so I got that and I thought this was really cool. You know, because when him and his guys are over, they can, you know, drink out of something that's engraved for him. And he, he really liked that. Um, I'll link the name of where I got it from. I can't remember their name. It's like something badger. Something badger. So I got him that. Winky badger. That's what it's called. And then um, <laughs> I got him a wallet from there too. And I engraved a little message on the inside of it. And I was like, I know it seems like the girls and I are, uh, spend all your money. But <laughs> we really appreciate you and love you. <laughs> we try not to. Um, and I just got it more so for like a sentimental gift. Like I didn't think he would actually use the wallet. But... They really make some nice gifts and they're not um they're not crazy expensive and they're like really great gifts for guys you know because i feel like guys are sometimes hard to shop for so another gift that i got for my dad um from that brand it's a little um it's a travel what, what would you call it like a travel um like a little 
travel thing that you can put like your keys in, change, cufflinks or something like that. And my dad's like, I love this. I use it all the time. And I got that with his initials in it. So I love that you can like engrave things. Uh, and it was funny. My dad was like, your mother is always trying to use it. And I told her, no, she's not using mine. So he's like, I'll just buy her her own. So definitely check it out if you need some gift ideas for the man in your life. Um, I might look on there again to see if there's like anything else that I didn't get Sean that I could, you know, maybe get him this year. Let's talk about the new year. So in terms of glam girl Chelsea, what are some ideas that you have for the new year? So some of you all have already gave me content ideas and I'm so thankful for those. Like one of you all said, I should do a video trying out all of the products that were in the maybe pile from my declutters. And I was like, that is such a great idea because if I use it and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm gonna declutter it, then like you all get to see why, you can see it on the face. And I was like, yeah. So thank you to the person who gave me that idea. I forgot what your name is, um, but uh, I really liked that suggestion. So I do want to do that. And maybe kind of something I do want to do in the new year is, especially if like I do a haul, do like a two week follow up of how I've been using the products, how I like them. Um, so you all can get, you know, like an actual update. So I look at those videos different from monthly favorites because it wouldn't necessarily be you know products i've been using all month but these are like you know specific to the haul specific to what you saw and then what i actually like or you know sometimes a product may not make it to my monthly favorites that month it might show up later on or i may never ever make it to a monthly favorites but i still like it and use it right so you all will get and i you all will get a chance to really see how I like products, how they're working for me, you know, and if they're worth your buy. So I'm gonna do more videos like that. Um, I will say from doing Vlogmas and like doing a couple more vlogs, I realized that you all like them regardless if like I'm actually doing something fun in them or if I'm just chilling. So I do think I'll do more vlogs in the new year. I don't know if I'll do weekly vlogs, but I'll definitely, you know, do more because I actually do like them. And I like that I don't have to be like prim and proper for them in terms of like all my makeup's got to be done and they don't have to be perfect. I mean, none of my videos are perfect, but you know, they don't have to be so structured. There we go. That's a good word. So, um, I do want to do more of those. And yeah, so let me know, you know, um, I know some of you all have suggested shop my stash videos and I like doing shop my stash videos, but the problem is I can't really keep up with it when there's a lot of new makeup coming out that I'm trying to review because I'm trying to use the new product to provide feedback for you all and you know give you a good review and then um, sometimes if I like the products a lot I don't want to use what's in my stash I want to use those products so shop my stash videos like every time I try to do one I literally do one and then I never come back to it so I don't know if that's one that I can I don't know, maybe I could do it for like a month, you know, because I was doing them weekly. So maybe, maybe I could do them for a month. I don't know. I'll see about it. I'll see about it. But I just wanted it to address that because some, a few of you all have left me um, that video idea and you're like, I like them when you do them. So I wanted you all to know why I don't do them and, wait, and why I may not be able to do them consistently. That is the reason why. So, um, that's that. And, uh, oh, definitely get this, get that. Oh, that is by far my favorite video to make now. Monthly favorites used to be my favorites, but skip this, get that. 
so my favorite now because I really get to like compare and contrast products, give you all my feedback on them. So give you a review, but then also like this is cool or this is not cool at all or this is not worth your money, try this. And the cool thing about that style of video that I've been enjoying is that it doesn't always have to consist of brand new products, right? Because for some of the products that I've suggested, they're not, I mean, a lot of the suggestions were not like, this is a new product that you should skip and then this is a new product that you should get. Like, you might already have some of these products at home and you might have been eyeing a newer product and you're like, hey, either now I don't have to get it or you know what, I still may get it, but like, I just have a, you know, a different perspective to take into place. So. I love, love, love those videos. So my goal next year, if I can, is to do them once a month. And I don't know, maybe I'll use that as like my new monthly favorites format if I can. Um, I'll definitely be doing that again for the Sephora sales because I think that's a great time to do it. That, that was actually when I first did my skip this, get that video. Because I was like, there's so many things to consider and you know, I remember, especially like before I got on YouTube, I'm not buying all this new stuff, you know, during the Sephora sale. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like rein it in and just buy what I really feel like I will like. Um, so most definitely I will keep doing those. That, that will be a for sure series that stays on my channel. And I think for me, I just want to continue on this journey with you all trying to be as consistent as I can. So for those of you who don't know, I don't do YouTube full time. This is um, a side hustle for me. And I wouldn't even say a side hustle, like it doesn't pay any of my bills. So I, I do work a full time job. Um, and I am definitely going to do my best to be consistent next year. So I do go back in the office in January. So I've been working from home basically since the pandemic hit. And it's been very, very manageable to do YouTube and work um, while I've worked from home. So it will be very interesting to see how this all balances out when I'm back in the office because like as I'm filming this, I would be in the office. So, you know, I wouldn't have the flexibility to film and then, you know, do work and film and do work. So um, that is my goal to try to just, you know, be consistent. I still want to upload at least three times a week on my channel, which I think is quite doable. Um, I'll just either film in the evening or I will film on the weekends so before the pandemic hit i used to get up at like five o'clock in the morning to film before i would go to work and um yeah a newborn and getting up that early to do some work no 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 <laughs> that's not gonna happen so um and i noticed based on my analytics that you all tend to watch more of my videos in the evening so i was like well what i could do is you know i don't have to put that pressure on myself to like wake up extra early to film to get a video up i'll just film in the evening you know prior to that next day so you know come home in the evenings film and then you know that content can be used for the next day and uh and, we'll, and, and go like that um and i think you know i think that could be doable so we'll see at first, I was really stressed about it. Now I'm just like, you know what? Things always work out. And now that YouTube is a part of my life, like this is not just a little hobby that I just do here or there. This isn't, you know, just just something that occupies my time when I get bored. This is, y'all are a part of my life. Like you're a part of my family. Um, so it will get done. And that's just it, you know? Some of you have asked me, like, how do you balance it? How do you make time? And I genuinely love it. You hear people say it all the time. I love y'all. I love YouTube, but I love you all. Like, it's not the algorithm that keeps me coming back. It's not, you know, 
the simple satisfaction of uploading that keeps me coming back it is definitely you all so i feel uh, a responsibility to stay committed and that is what keeps me going that's what makes me get up and film when i don't feel like it um and you yeah this 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 is a part of my life and I thank God that Sean is supportive of it. <laughs> like I talked to him a couple of days ago and I was like, you know what, Sean? I'm only going to do Vlogmas for 25 days. I'm not doing 31 days. I'm tired. And the last week of this month, we're going to be spending it with my family. And I was like, I just want to be able to spend time with you all and relax. And he was like, you only have seven more days, Charles. Why give up then? And I'm like, I'm tired. He's like, no. He's like, you can pre-film and, you know, if, if you get everything pre-filmed, then you can just edit and upload. Like, I think you should finish it. And that meant so much to me because I know he's been over me in YouTube at times. Ugh, over me. Because it takes time from him. You know, he, if I could say, my girls um, feel it and Sean feels it. So, I appreciate that he still supports it, that he, you know, just like he did with my doctorate, he wouldn't let me give up on myself at times. And with YouTube, he he won't do it. And I, I, I mean, I don't think he knows how much I love him for that because this is, if I could say Sean gains no benefit from me doing YouTube, none. Like, it's not like, you know, like I said, this doesn't pay any extra bills. This does not go... Uh, back into his pockets like the money that I make from YouTube goes back into my channel so he the if I could say the only benefit that he gets is that he has a happy wife which I mean of course happy wife happy life right <laughs> but um it's not like you know like you know like if you quit YouTube then we're gonna miss this extra money or what have you so I love him for his support and um and his and like him knowing that I might be disappointed if I let myself stop or, you know, give up or things like that. So, um, ouch, just <laughs> tap my finger. So yeah, um, I think that's all that I want to say for that. So I'm looking forward to the new year and what it's going to bring and, you know, hoping that this new year is full of just all the great things and the challenges that will occur I pray that um, God will give me the strength to get through them and learn from them and uh, I can grow and just continue to be a servant for him um, and a blessing to people and fulfill the purpose that I was sent here to do because I am a firm believer that's why we were sent here on this earth to fulfill the purpose to serve others and um, the older they, I get, the more I just want to do that. Like, when I say amen, I just want to know that I have fulfilled the purpose that I was sent here to do. And um, I really just want my comp to be completely empty. Because I have done what I needed to do. Alright, so I am done with my hair. So I'm going to now go in with this dry texture spray. This is by Native. And this is their Pebble Beach Dry Texture Spray. I like to use this because it actually does hold my curls. And um, doesn't make them tight and crunchy, but it just allows for my hair to keep the shape of the curls. So I'm going to spray. Mm, got that on my face. <laughs> Put my fingers through my hair so that I can... Yeah, there we go. And then take my gray away little crayon so we can tone down some of these grays. We are done. to flat iron my hair um, at the end of the day and 
I love it. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And uh, um, everything that I used today will be linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. Guys, another day of Chelsmas is done. We are on day, what is today? Day 15. We are halfway there. Um, so yes, if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little chit chat with me. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.